Hello everybody, it's a new day. I now understand a few more mechanics. Let's play some more card draw. What do we want out of our shop first? Probably this times four. So we'll flag that guy and then start drawing. If you missed the last episode, every time we draw a card, well, let's uh, buy this and then we will flag that and come back to here. Every time we draw a card, all of the operations go from left to right and the first one drops off, you draw a new one. So times four is worth nothing because it's zero. Times two is zero, times three is zero. That's a shame. Two is worth two. Two and five is seven. Two and five and four is 11 and so on. And then it keeps cycling through the deck. And then as we earn points, we can spend said points on better cards. Then we can remove old cards if we want to, which I probably do. So what do we want to do first? Probably get rid of some cards. So 66 times three is going to give us a lot here. We can burn the plus one and we'll burn the plus two. Can't afford to burn the plus three. Let's pick up the 92. Holding spacebar just continues drawing rather than having to click individually every time. All right, 700 for an extra card slot. We certainly want that. Let's get 300 and burn the plus three first. Actually, we need, we got one card to spare, so we can burn that plus three. So, is this uh, total cards in deck? You can currently add one new card slot, yeah. So we can currently add this. So 700 for that. What we want to see is like the 66 times something times something. So we can add that, good. And then probably time to think about a reroll. So 500. Now, of course, we have six, uh, four card slots, which is lovely. And we can think about expanding our shop as well. Times nine is massive. So I definitely want that. Let's go. Plus 31. Then to get rid of something is 400. That would be good. Right, burn the small stuff. Can I not burn one more? Am I too thin decked? So we have to have a minimum number of cards equal to four plus one, because we have four slots, plus one, then times two. So we have to have a minimum number of 10 cards in the deck right now. So I think we'll take the plus 68. Drop out the plus five. Oh, come on. There you go. And then I want this times nine. So 418, how many cards to get this guy? 13. It's not bad. Then 700 to burn something. If we go to type here, we can see that we have six pluses and five multipliers i think we could probably drop the six or the seven so let's do that and then i think it's probably okay to expand the shop a little plus 96 also looks pretty good Plus 95. We still have a plus 7 and a plus 31 here. So you know what? I'll take those. Just two rolls to grab that, which is good going. Three for that one. I keep saying rolls. I mean draws, but I played roll for hundreds of episodes. So it's ingrained in my brain. Show me, we need 700, 800 to burn, 900, okay. I'll do it. Burn the seven, then the rest of this is reasonably large. The 31 
obviously the smallest thing, but let's work on a re-roll. I want to try and not use any excess um, rolls if I don't have to for unflagged things. I want to try and play reasonably min-maxed. Max digit cubed. Increase the input value by the largest digit of the input value raised to the power of three. So what's nine cubed? Nine nines is 81 times nine is going to be 810. No, because 81 times 10 is 810, but it's like 720 or something there or thereabouts. That sounds very good, but obviously the max digit won't always be that. Plus uh, 1,111 times the second digit multiplied by the input value's second digit. That sounds great. So largely, I think I want a lot of this stuff, basically. So where are we going to begin? I will take a 111. Didn't take too many rolls to get there. Then let's take... This is 15,000. This is only 6,000 more, but it's already about three times the size of this. Just on its own. So let's spend the time to roll for this guy. Then we have 185. I probably want to get rid of... Oh, this is equals 111. That's my wasted money. So equals sets the number, whereas this adds the number. So if I have really good stuff followed by equals 111, it just wipes out what I had before. So I actually don't want that, and that is my mistake. So we will burn that at the first opportunity. Whereas this is plus, which is what I do want to see. So plus the maximum digit cubed, plus 444. 70,000 is probably not that far out of reach right now as well. Let's grab 444. Then let's take out 31. I'll take out times two as well. So now we're going for 70,000 so we can go up to five cards. Let's do five taps a piece and see how things are going. About 10,000 for five taps. Oh, we got there really big on that last one. No, uh, that's not the button I want. We wasted two burns. I need to add a card before we can do this. So, um, we'll roll. Oh, that's some big stuff, isn't it? Order digits ascending. Orders the input value digits from smallest to largest. Interesting. One, one, one times max digit. Do we have that already? Oh, that's by times second digit. Okay. Um, I'll buy this. Then we want to get up to 70. So this with multipliers ahead of it should be very large. Why are you not adding? Oh, is the second digit zero? Ah, that's rough. So this is 444. Okay, well, we're buying this. That's a given. Then let's unlock some more shop stuff. 
So this is 444. This is plus 1111 times 4. So plus 44444. Plus 96, plus 95, and then times that all by 9. So we can buy this, we can buy that. Plus four to the power of the length. That sounds great for us. Let's get another shop slot or two. What was it, 45,000 or something? Forty thousand five hundred. Okay. Let's grab this, the Eureka Nut. Value zero starts the calculation of points for each turn from the value of zero. Well, they already do that, so I don't know that I'm in invested in this. Let's take that. And then one hundred and eleven, one 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 times nine minus the minimum digit. Sure, we'll grab that as well. We need a flag. Big one. All right, we can get rid of some stuff. Let's drop the times three. We need one more card before we can expand this again, but... I mean, plus 999 is pretty solid, right? So, reroll. Scale. The points output of every card slot containing a minimum digit or maximum digit is multiplied by zero if the corresponding symbol value resulted in a zero or a nine and multiplied by five otherwise. Yeah, I don't, I don't pretend to understand that or its benefits. Um, plus four to the power of nine minus the max digit, I think is very big. But it's a million points, so let's see how long it takes to get there, shall we? There's, a, there's like 50 pulls. Hopefully it's worth it. Last digit cubed. I'll grab that as well. Right. Do a couple rerolls. Judge. Increase the total points after the draw by 111 times the current number of cards in your deck. Um, that sounds good, doesn't it? I don't know if it sounds 200,000 points good, but it seems good. Three to the power of nine minus the max digit. Four to the power of nine minus the max digit. This is 180,000. This is 215 million. Goodness. Plus three to the power of the first digit. That also sounds very big. Pick up this. Second digit to the power of four. I'm just going to flag both of these and grab them both, I think. Yeah, that's 1.2 million on that. So I think we can go for a new card slot now. As long as we get some decent draws. Three thousand points though is not a lot. All right, that's bigger. Just times four doing a lot. Oh, so if this card is first, it's four to the power of nine because the maximum digit is zero. And so minus zero is nine which is massive that's good knowledge right, 
hopefully, now that we have some plus numbers, the stuff that comes after will give some very large multipliers, but I worry I've got too much stuff not doing very much for me. Again, this goes very hard. But I fear the balance of my deck is not great. How are we doing at 150 rolls? All right, six million is not so bad. What do we need, seven? So we could be pretty close. All right, so now we are much longer, which should help a lot. Pair. With a probability of 1%, start the calculation of points for each value from 111 instead of zero. That sounds fantastic. Though it's probability of 1%, so it's 1 in 100. Maximum digit minus the minimum digit to the power of die roll 6 plus 1. Sounds like fun. Length to the power of length. Uh, yes, give me that. Right, is it time to really remove a bunch of stuff out of this? Because we've got 6, 12, 18, 19 cards. Right, I'm going to... Plus three to the power of the first digit. Show me worst. So total best added type, total best. So we just added this, so it hasn't added anything yet. These pluses aren't doing much, but the problem is I think they're the foundation of why these score well. Right, I'm gonna burn this. Yeah, I don't know. Still so much to learn, clearly. Dices. With a probability of 30% for each card slot, multiply the points output of the card slot by 10 minus the number of different digits of the card's value. 2.7 million. Sure, I'll try. Third digit. Increases the input value by the third digit to the power of this. Black six is a dice that gets rolled each turn. At each dice roll, each six can assume a randomly generated number between one and six. All right, buy that right away. We'll flag this for 2.7 million and see how we go. That's a quarter million. I wonder if I want to get rid of some of these smaller pluses. I'm uncertain. I'm also wondering if it's worth investing earlier into like more times nines and stuff. Because later on in the run, it seems they don't show up nearly as often. First digit to one through six minus one. Last digit times zero or 111. Bellboy on spades. Clubs, diamonds, spades. So judge right now, increase the total points by 111. If the total points after the draw is a number that starts with one, the total points of this draw is multiplied by the number of its digits. But I think I like times seven here. More of these larger multipliers and then perhaps we get rid of a times four and let's burn a tire a plus 66 as well builder the 
The total points after the draw is multiplied by two times the number of different rolled dice values. <laughs> Not today. Uh, I'll take that. Plus this to the power of its length. I'd like that as well. I feel like that could be very large. Yeah, that's a lot. So this is... F isn't Shouldn't this be 5 to the power of 5? Or 4. If the, the dice rod is 4, as shown in the tooltip, plus 1 is 5. So we're adding 5 to the power of five, which feels like it should be a much larger number than that. But maybe I'm confused, because I wouldn't put it past me to be confused. All right, this is hearts, this is stars that we still don't have any kind of bonus feature in. Also, we can probably do that. Barber, builder, secretary. Plus six to the value of one or six. I think that is worthwhile. Third digit to the power of four. Go on then. Plus length to the power of the minimum digit. I might be adding too much stuff here, but it all sounds like so much fun. Plus this to the power of six, yes. Scale on clubs. The points output of every card slot containing a minimum digit or maximum digit is multiplied by zero if the corresponding symbol value resulted in a zero or nine and multiplied by eight otherwise. It just sounds like more risk than I want to take. I'd like to buy like plus four digit numbers. All right, I'm gonna buy this. We're going to flag for this. See how that goes. Pretty good. 700 million seems like so much. LED. For each card slot, multiply the points output by 4 if the points output of the card slot does not contain the digits 0 or 9. I just feel like I can't build around that very safely at all. This sounds great, though. That I want indeed. How big was that? 39 million points. Okay. I'm here for it. Give me that. Give me some removal, maybe. I don't even know what I would get rid of. Because I don't know how much these are... Um, adding important values to the early parts of a calculation for me, you know? And now everything's just really expensive, isn't it? Give me that. Give me that. All right, 700 million. That's 5 million. Twenty nine million. If we do ten rolls, six million off ten rolls does not seem like a lot. Yeah, we're getting some very, very small turns here. Hundred thousand. Thirty-eight million. We need seven hundred million. We're just not going to get there with what we've got here. Plus length to the power of that. I guess these just get bigger when they get bigger. You know, like the the bigger it gets, the bigger it gets, the bigger it gets. 
bigger your number, the longer it is, the longer it is, the more score you get, so on and so on and so forth. There's a there's a hump of strategy here that I don't Oh, hello. Well, it was huge, but it's not gonna be enough to get me where I need to be right now, which is fine, we're still learning. I think this isn't possibly as good. I guess this is better early, isn't it? Yeah, but we're not going to get to see it be early. All right, 173 million. 175 million. So our score did do good things at the end there. We just weren't going to get up to the 700 million we needed to add another digit. Our score and our accumulated score are basically the same. Turns, we had that one giant turn right here times 9 times 4 and plus 92 like these just doing the most work so maybe invest more in those in the early game but still good fun if you have any tips tricks things i should be looking out for if you've played the game for yourself let me know down in the comments down below hit that like button subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one cheers